Hello everyone. Some of you may think that I'm in the dark a lot of the times, and while that might be true, I'm in the dark in this video intentionally. I have the overhead lights turned off so that you can see the board a little bit better from the recording device that I was using. So I just wanted you to know as we begin, that's the reason I'm in the dark in this video. Hello everyone. A number of you have made mention to members of the technology department here at Heartland that you're no longer able to view a Google slideshow in Google Chrome and tap on the board to make the slideshow advance. That's true. And there's nothing wrong with Google. There's nothing wrong with your interactivity on your boards in this case. It simply is a new feature of Google as they look towards the future, knowing that many products are becoming touchscreen now and they want to make gesturing as an accessibility piece to their products um, more readily available. So a touch means something different to Google Chrome now than a swipe does. All you have to do, whether you're on a smart board like I am here or your New Line Interactive panel and you're in Google Chrome using Google Slides to advance the slide, you simply have to use a swipe gesture, okay? So sometimes the first time takes two swipes. So I just swiped and I moved to the next slide. A swipe motion will also add text in or text boxes or pictures in if there are animations in your presentation as well. So I'm gonna go here and move to a second slide and to a third slide, etc. Okay, so that's how this will work for you now and in the future using Google Chrome. Uh, a number of you might have recognized that you can actually uh, you can actually tap down here in the lower left hand corner and get this little icon, which means you can just tap an arrow and advance the slide forward or backward in the presentation. You can also use that gesture as well. Uh, so tap in the lower left hand corner, you get a little uh, menu that pops up and you can advance or, uh, or, or take the slideshow backwards a little bit. Um, so that's all there is to this. I wanted to show you that there is a way that you can in fact do this. Oh, and by the way, um, some of you may be up here on your slides and you may be doing a, a tiny little gesture and thinking that that's going to work. The, the slide or the, um, the gesture needs to be about five to six inches in length on your board in order for it to register um, in, in Google uh, as, uh, as a swipe to advance the slide. Just wanted to let you know that. So if you're doing a tiny little swipe, it's like that, it's probably not gonna work. You have to move your finger five to six inches across the board in order for uh, Google Chrome to recognize that as in fact a swipe and not a tap, okay? Well, that's all there is for this video. I just wanted to take and, and show you that that is possible. Um, I'm here on a smart board and I've tested this on new line panels. It works the same. So hope that helps you. Thanks.